hell did that do? I couldn't even see shit, man. Oh. I recorded. This is the seventh video of the day. I've been going crazy all last month, almost, man. I got y'all like one or two videos almost every day for all October. Yeah, man. Let's keep streaking, baby. I don't like two. This is part three. I haven't played it in like a week, though, so I don't remember the controls. As usual. But I'm going to bench play it a little bit in a couple days, so let's do it. Plus, the Call of Duty campaign just dropped. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey, how am I still? Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. You ever see the movie 1408? Your ass thought she was out. Great. It looked like it was about to be right for a second didn't it why y'all do that to me man I can't even see that shit.
sit still, you little bitch. There's a big yellow arrow pointed that way. Let's follow it, shall we? Yes, get me out of this place. Keep me out the woods, man. I don't want to be there the whole time. We're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Want to say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense.
with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? And you woke up looking like John Wick and shit. The timestamp this TV for me, please. Come on. Please. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story wait this isn't right i i haven't written anything he's so humble okay you got me good prank very funny but yeah i sad to say i, I i've not written this I, i'd remember if i'd written a book right or maybe it was written by your evil double Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? Well, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of... My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. This 
shit crazy hello hold up how many chapters i gotta know how many hold up chapters and alan wake 2 just so i know how we gonna go about 19 i'm not doing one chapter for video we'll be here forever 19 episodes too long i'm losing it the hell Something's going on here. bro i needed to get home to alice What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? I don't think you can see yourself in any of the mirrors in the game, by the way, which fits kind of all the crazy shit that's going on in here. I don't know the code for that. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Or was it a four digit code? How many digits was this code? If that wasn't a code, I was gonna go right on Google. Y'all know how I rock. I'm not looking up no locker codes, no door codes, no computer passwords. I'm not finding them in the game. I'm looking here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. I meant to say I'm not looking for. I'm looking up. Shit, locker codes, computer codes, door codes, all safe codes, bro. We Google that shit. Fuck all that. Y'all can go and y'all look for it when y'all play. Ain't nobody got time for that. That don't take skill. It just takes, it's just tedious shit. game is so creepy you don't know the difference between scary and creepy is not necessarily the same you're with me I had to get out The fact that he said he made a comment tells me we're hitting in the right direction. I just can't believe it. I might need to raise the brightness of the letter. Oh, it's right here. Here we are. for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days Alan you smoking that shit this is what happens when y'all mess around with that stuff I couldn't leave this wasn't the way out a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far, but other notes as well. Warnings, I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Okay, I got it. I can't leave. 
all Drake's uh, ghostwriters. This is how they live, bro. OVO sweatshop right here, baby. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Hey, Drake, let party next door off that room. <laughs> I'm joking, shut up. We gotta find our way out of the studio. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down the missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> now, the question is, is that's Max Payne's character model. That's not the same guy that's doing the voice, is it? I gotta, I gotta know if that's him. Is that, it's not, he's. Okay, he wrote the story. Okay, but who's the voice actor? Oh, James McCaffrey. All right, that makes sense. I didn't know Sam Lake actually wrote Max Payne. It's kind of phenomenal. So he got to be the face and the brains of the whole shit. Last time we went that way. Is there anything over here? No. This game is fucking with me, man. 
What is this, 665? Did they change the code, bro? Wasn't this 665? Six, six, five. Five, six, five. I think. This is the way it's flashing. 565. Five. Wanna try 565? Five, there we go. Want to go back through the red room area? All right, now we have some type of break rooms. Hello? Who's that? Why you bust up in the bathroom like that? evil that not a bit of good as well not one without the other <laughs> good to see you hey I, I can't seem to find my way out of here can you point me to the exit <laughs> of course Tom the work will instruct its maker I was gonna get something from the basement for you but you can get it yourself now uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there. What? But still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. have anything to put here. The question is, am I going to need a gun on this section? This feels kind of... noises Can 
I ain't got no flashlight either. Put it on 70. Man, it's a little bit brighter, but it ain't really helping. I can't see shit down here. Oh, here we go. lamp in a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Light was significant. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. jumped into my lamp the whole room changed like something in a dream yo not us the way forward crazy the was humming the bulb glowed it held the light now i see the motherfucking dookie the glow in the lamp went out shifting the light in the room the light carved out something new from the darkness A remedy. I see you. I see you. So, if I go back through this. to find another way out. Which was cut from this place is a nightmare not real and yet more real than anything the danger and the horror are real it feeds off my mind twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality i'm trapped here i write to escape i've tried this many times written countless stories forgotten how many i keep failing but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the map, the map, the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. My fault, y'all. We back.
Let's do another chapter. Oh. Well then. Well then, guys. <laughs> Fuck that. I thought we was gonna get like a whatever. Okay, hold on. What's back there? What's up these steps? Boy, what the hell? The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Payphones is crazy. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I, I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Beautiful game. I gotta tell you. It really is. Beautiful game. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. The important thing though is that they put maps. I'm looking, I'm actually looking for the map. not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Where I can't see shit. Neighborhood elimination. So here's the issue. Let me show y'all. The issue is that I can't turn the station light on because the light shift is inactive. I was supposed to be checking out each one of these circles. Let's there it is. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim?
kill Max Payne in this mug. Casey! Damn it. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really want to know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh, uh, this isn't... This doesn't make me happy, because now I got a gun in the flashlight, which means they're gonna spawn enemies. Of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. So, so you know, guys, a lot of Remedy's games are connected. They're all connected, so... Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Do I need to... <laughs> Those ain't the ones that want to fight. Fuck. Yo, what? Oh, man. Yo, I can't see. It. The shadows faded out until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. I have no heels. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Before we do that, though, we did have a couple other places that we could visit. Let's come back down here real quick. Boy, Alan, you run slow. You run so damn slow. This way. <sighs> and of course, budge. Of course, it's locked. Okay. Maybe we'll. Maybe maybe these are places. Hold up. Maybe these are places we uh we revisit. You know what I'm saying? Hold on real quick, make sure we get it. Right, we're straight, we're straight, we're straight. All right, let's go, shall we? Shall I go on? Prince of Persia and shit, after you, after you pause the game, shall I go on? I need some heals. not go down there yet it's over here let's see that stupid ass ain't supposed to be up here but we here though What 
Little did I know there was a, a ladder sitting right here, by the way. I don't know which ones is going to attack and which ones is not. That's the thing. Shit got me tripping. All right, before we go over up there where the humming is. Oh, cool. Ain't nothing in here. Ain't that about a bitch? Go up these steps. Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. All right. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. Oh, hey, that's the break room. There's echo. I don't even know what any of this means. What was that stash he was talking about? I thought there was stuff in here. No, am I tripping? Am I smoking that shit? Make sure all these are added to your notes, which I did. You later, dude. Which way? All right, there's air. Not awake. There was something hidden here. The phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Oh shit, what's this? Upgrades. Ooh. OK, 
okay. There's probably more of these all, all outside the dam. Okay. Right, go up those steps. Hey, in this part of the game, there's kind of a lot of places you could go. Where are we now? Could go straight. We could also go this way. There's something over here. Okay, did this... Where does this come out? Cool. Oh, all right. So there's an echo or whatever the hell that said, but it must be up there. I couldn't even see shit, man. Turn it back, man. Please put me close by, though. Now, what the hell? Oh, good. All right, thank you, game. we come back down here and mess with that damn cop car see what's up here you know I probably need to cut that light on to get whatever was over here yeah I think I need to cut that light on to get, to get whatever's over here gotta do that anyway can we open this oh good all right we have a way out now Fucking goodness, man. This shit is bullshit. You can't, dog. Oh, oh my goodness. Take so many bullets, man. So many damn bullets. Did I collect anything up there? Ain't gonna be so goddamn out of sorts. I did collect something up there. There was one. Up there. Before we 
hit that switch. Let's get back up here and get whatever that was up here. I might cheese that shit. I ain't gonna lie. I might hit the hit the switch and then climb up the ladder and shoot him from up there. Textbook cheese. It's not even on it. Oh, I already got it. You only get it back. That's funny. That's funny, hoes. This episode's gonna end up being long. I thought it was gonna be short. I was wrong as shit, bro. You do that. I got no That's it Holy shit Now Another upgrade there. Where's the power? Okay. And then what about that damn echo thing? Killers on here. I would love a opportunity to save my gear. There was another spot up here for me to climb higher. I don't know if y'all remember seeing it. I'm about to show you. Boy, Allen, he walks so goddamn slow. This shit is nuts. That's the, that's the beauty of this shit. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something in there. Man tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained 
bruises under my skin like tattoos, bruises in my soul, scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling, and I never stopped drinking. That's it? something back there I think there's another upgrade back there I hope I could come back to this place later and get the stuff that I'm missing it's like right on the other side of that Save it. I don't feel comfortable. Is, I can't get into the room. Ain't that about a bitch? Some hoes for putting that shit in front of that damn door like that. All right, now. Did they respawn? They did. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, good. There's at least one more. Wait, where is it? TV, where's the power? Where's the gun? Where's the stuff? We gotta find stuff. There's two more. I'm about to look these up. Hold on. Why ain't this working? It's supposed to. Cop car. No? All right, we'll go back and turn the cop car off. I don't, I don't know how. Hmm. He's got me out here with no ammo. I can't turn it off. I'll turn this one off. Now will this work? Gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Get all this. Get all 
all of that. Any other lockers down here? Part took quite a while. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. 